Hey everybody, welcome to Black Arrow Gaming. I'm Bob, and this is the 19th episode in my first Civilization VI strategy series. Um, I did some thinking about my uh, my works of art and stuff like that, and looked at the deals that different people have to offer, and basically there's no way for me to get a themed museum right now. It's honestly really hard to do that with the works of art. It, I find it to be a lot easier to do with artifacts, so that's probably what I'm going to have to go for. In the meantime, I only have one spot that I can put a new painting, so I'm going to just go ahead and, and put one down. Um, I am kind of close to getting a themed museum here because, as you can see, I have a landscape from El Greco, a landscape from Jan oh, Hong Sung Op. I have literally no clue how to pronounce that. Um, that's a portrait, and I need another landscape from somebody besides El Greco or the artist that I just got. And that great person has not yet been born. So you can kind of track this a little bit by keeping an eye on this stuff down here because I can see the next great person is going to get more sculptures so I would want to find out who got him and then try to trade one of my sculptures for theirs once they're finished because right now all these sculptures are from the same guy and I need three sculptures from different people so you got to kind of keep an eye on the great people that way It'll be a little while, I just have to wait, because those artists just simply have not been born yet. I don't necessarily know, I think I'm just going to have these guys hang out on the silver mine and fortify in place. Oh yeah, Cristo Redentor is almost done. That's getting really close. Just a couple turns away. That's an important one for me. I just noticed one of those newspaper type events that mentioned that Congo and Australia are not getting along. Congo might need to keep my eye on them. Right now we're allies. They're getting pretty strong, or they're getting pretty big anyway. I've still got five, six, seven, eight, eight cities. It's actually probably about as many as I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got nine, so I've still got them beat in terms of size of empire, but in a recent game that I played with one of my friends, they did extremely well. Do I have sugar yet? That'll be nice if I don't. Cotton, gypsum, mercury, silk, spices, tea, tobacco, banana. Okay, no, no sugar yet, so that'll boost my amenities a little bit. Might need to slow down radio just a tad. Oh, I should have bought nuts. I should have bought the the uh, great or the naturalist. I should have bought the naturalist on the last turn because he won't be able to move once I purchased him, or at least not immediately after I purchase him. All right, well, that's fine. Um, I will go ahead and get him now. Wait, oh yeah, gotta move the, gotta move the musician. Too many units of the same class in this location. Oh, uh, I guess the builder counts as being in the way too. Okay, I want woods there. I've wanted woods there for a while. Okay, now I can buy it. And with that, I will go ahead and spend the remainder of my faith getting walls up in these cities as soon as I can, since they'll become obsolete. Oh, they are obsolete now. Okay, so I didn't quite get them in Varennes, but I got them everywhere else, so that's fine. I'll take a monument there. Oh, wait, unless... 
Valletta. No, they're still my ally. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to build, buy the monument with faith either. Okay, why not? Well, I mean, this is one turn away, so let's just finish that and then go into building builders. All right, three more envoys. Just getting all sorts of them. If I got them as like a, a permanent ally, that would I think would be useful. Um, I have an encampment. It would benefit any military units that I that I make in Kazan, which probably isn't a bad idea. I don't remember which structure I picked for the encampment. Okay, it looks like I got the stable. So I'd make be able to make military units in there really fast. This city already has a ton of production. So I'm thinking about just solidifying my control over Valeda. Um, alternatively, I could get six over Palenk. And then, I actually, I'll probably do that, because that's going to benefit my universities. Or my campus districts. Got nothing to do with that guy for now. Alright, a harbor would be useful in the city too now that I think of it. Actually, a harbor would have been a better choice to start with. That was a mistake, because I could have built the seaport and it would have just benefited more. I, I could have gotten production out of that and more food from the fishing boats. Nuts, that would have been a much better choice. Harbor... Need to get it up to population four. Well, I could always put a trader in there and like send food, but I really didn't want to do that. But the city does not have enough production or growth to really keep... No, it, it's got growth options from the fish, so I'll be able to get a harbor in there. For now, I guess it's probably best to just be focusing on getting that industrial zone up and running. Actually, this city needs some micromanagement because I'm taking that off. I want to lock, lock down on that tile but I need growth, and if I can grow it enough, I'll be able to get more production for the city in the long run. See, now it's seven turns until growth instead of 21, and then I'll be able to put builders on both of these spots, so <clears throat> the game doesn't always think these things through. I might let it grow twice, actually. All right, let's start sabotaging production because that's what he's good at. So I'll have that national park just in time for radio. I am going to have to stop cultural heritage, though, because I still want that themed museum for the bonus for that. Although I almost don't want to wait for heritage tourism, though. I think I'll be patient with it, because I'm probably going to get it almost just as fast either way. To give people one thought. Everything is in God's hands. Excellent. That is a great wonder for me to have. <laughs> Alright, so let's look at what this does real quick. not going to show me in this menu. Tourism out for relics and holy cities is not diminished by other civilizations who have researched the Enlightenment, and doubles tourism output of seaside resorts across your civilization. Excellent. And I'll be able to start building one of those, actually on this turn, I think, or no, on the next turn. And let's see, for the National Park...
All right, so I've got that going for me now too. That's a crazy amount of tourism that I'm getting from these tiles here. That's like seven, six, and then four and four. So um, that'd be 21. That's I just boost my tourism output by 21 with that national park. All right, these guys need to just go all nuts building builders. I need to upgrade like everything. And Kazan probably needs to do the same thing. As much as I'd love to get research labs, I need... Actually, Kazan should probably be building a neighborhood, honestly. It's at 14 out of 13 housing capacity. I'll get one more builder to clear space for the commercial hub first, and then I'll start the neighborhood. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I want to be focused here, building an archaeologist. Actually, how much would it take to buy one? Purchasing an archaeologist would take 1,002... Yeah, I'm really close to that. I'll just purchase it. And then I'll, I'll actually build the power plant. Yeah, that's fine. I think the next thing this city is going to probably build is the industrial zone right there. Having that with factories, power plants, and all that good stuff is that is an excellent spot because it's going to give benefits to four cities. All right, and as for this builder, I'm going to come build a line of farms along here. I wonder if the farms that are on the edge of your empire count towards... Yeah, I wonder if they count towards the housing in the city available housing. I'll, uh, I'll test that. I actually don't know. Alright, these guys are done. Pretty much know where I'm putting, well, some of this stuff at least. Those are both charming tiles. I think it would be better for me... Well, hang on, what's this one? That's charming. That's partially because that's old growth woods, though. Yeah, I was thinking about putting a forest here and then getting two breathtaking neighborhoods there. I'm thinking having three charming neighborhoods would be better than having two. Yeah, in the long run. Turning these into three neighborhoods here would be better than just having two. I should do that. Because that would go down to... That would stay at Charming, because it'd be two. And then this one, if I cut it down, it'd be two. Yeah, I'm going to do that instead. And then I'll focus this guy for now on... Since I can just build neighborhoods there whenever. I'll focus this guy for now on maybe getting some farms going. Stuff like that. It's average and average. These will probably just be lumber mills. Okay. I want farms here, so... Eventually, I really need this tile to go fall on my borders, because I want to connect the farm from... I want to have it give bonuses to the farm tiles that I'm going to build there. And I'm going to need woods on this spot, too, eventually. This is like what I'm saying. I just need builders all over the place. I'm going to start with farms, though, I think. This city could use the growth. Do I have enough housing? Yeah, I've got enough housing in there now. So farms it is. Accumulated enough faith to purchase a missionary, which I'm not going to do, but I will purchase whatever's available in Varenz now which is going to be a sewer, and that's actually not available yet. I wonder what it was that I researched that actually made walls obsolete. I should probably look that up at some point. All right, radio comes in on the next turn, which is awesome. And I'm going to build the seaside resort pretty much right away. 
I'll use the builder that I make there to clear forests, to clear these, to plant forests, and probably clear space for the commercial hub. Oh wait, the builder actually builds this resort too. So wait, that's one build, two, three, four, then five. Okay, that's perfect. I've got just enough to do what I need to do with this guy. Ooh. Tanks are, are close. Oh wait, computers. All tourism yields are doubled. That's the top most important thing. I will... I will gladly just skip the the uh, the Eureka bonus to get that because that's incredibly important for me. Let's go ahead and get reformed church, I guess. I don't know. Capitalism. I haven't been building stock exchanges. But I kind of want that one. I don't know if I want to wait until I have three stock exchanges either. I don't even think I have three commercial hubs now that I think of it. I could get the stock exchange there pretty quickly. And I could get one in that city reasonably quickly, I suppose. But I don't think I have any other commercial hubs anywhere. I think it's just these two cities. So yeah, I'm not going to get the stock exchanges anytime soon. I may as well just research capitalism as is. Alright, power plant is constructed. Awesome. Uh, I can build the shipyard to even further increase production, but what I really need to do is increase populate. Oh, you know what? Now I can start the theater square. Alright, here's what I need is another builder here, just like everywhere else. And then maybe the entertainment complex, I don't know. I want to get that neighborhood built ASAP. All right, let's test this here, because I know that's extended from Moscow. Moscow currently has 11 out of 12 housing capacity. Farms give a half of a point, so if it doesn't work for this one... Okay, it's still 11 out of 12. So if it doesn't work for the next one, then it means that farms outside of the immediate three-tile area don't count. So I'll have to wait to test that on the next turn. I'm not computers in 16, in like the 1600s. <laughs> uh, China wants tobacco for coffee. And he's willing to pay some gold for it. How much gold? A lot of gold. Like... Why are you giving me so much money for coffee? For, for tobacco? 40? What is wrong with you? Okay, let's just... 58 gold per turn. And you're still giving me a luxury resource. Okay. Yeah, something's goofed up. China's denounced me too, so I don't know why in the world he would make a deal like that. Yeah, yeah, go away. France, what is your relationship with Congo? I thought it was good. Yeah. Why why aren't we allies, France? Come on. I wonder if I could just give her a gift and make her happy with me. She's got coal already, so that doesn't really mean much. I really wish she was actually an ally. Um, oh, I, I could use a broadcast center too, now that I can build those, because I've got that musician. Now I'm going to stick with the plan here. I'm going to stick with the plan. I was The plan was next to get an aerodrome. I don't want to fall behind on flight. Actually, the plan was next for neighborhood, which is going here. Yes. Do 
do that. Then I can have him clear this, which will help the neighborhood along and make it provide more housing. All right, so what was this at? 11 out of 12. About now. Nope. So the farms built outside of the immediate three tile radius of a city or other improvements don't add housing to the city, but they are still providing food benefits because that's like up to six now. That's at six, it's gonna be seven. So yeah, they, they still help. Just like this huge farmland all over this area. Okay, you want to give me... I'm already getting coffee. Because I just got coffee from China. So no, but it doesn't show up in here. I wonder if China just... I wonder if I basically just sold them a luxury resource for an enormous amount of money. Maybe I already had coffee and didn't know it. So no, no deal. But... If you want to talk about just, like, money... Wait, why can't I get gold per turn for this? Okay. No, it's not happening, Japan. Sorry. So I can't believe I haven't even built a campus district in my capital city. Just never became important, I guess. All right, next up in Moscow is housing. So I think that tile, I think I said that was gonna be breathtaking, it is. So let's build a neighborhood. And I'm gonna use this guy to go up there and build the uh, lumber mill to make the neighborhood a little better and give myself a little more production here. All right, now that that's done, let's see, I don't need the neighborhood quite yet here. I want to go ahead and get another theater square, I think. And send this guy up here to clear that spot. Give me a boost towards the theater, and then I can put a neighborhood there right after. I wonder where St. Petersburg's getting most of its food from. What's the surplus? 19.8 surplus. It's getting a lot of food. It must be trade routes, because there's, like, no farms here, so... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, yeah, Manchester exists. Um, I guess Industrial Zone comes next. Let's get it going. City starved for production anyway. There are so many spots, like, there's so many archaeological ruins here. There's like one here, here, here. I know there's a bunch by Novgorod. There's a lot for me to excavate. I think I've got enough faith to buy a sewer out here now. And I'm pretty sure that is all. I think that's all of my cities if I've bought as much stuff with faith in them as I can. Yeah, I think they're good. It's a shame I was not able to get the Renaissance walls in that last city, but I was close. And you know what, while this builder's up here, I'll go ahead and build lumber mills on the stuff I'm up on the forest that I'm about to plant. I love conservation. It's so good. Especially we get it around the same time, time as steel when you get the bonus production for all those lumber mills. 
Okay, this city starved for food a little bit, so those tiles help. And this one's going to be really good because I'm going to surround it by other farms. faith so China's getting cranky you know I want to stop and look at something here world rankings looking at culture victory okay I'm not quite there yet but I'm leaps and bounds ahead of everybody else one thing I don't understand is why the Congo why their number is different than everybody else's in a game that I played with a friend, it was, their number was also different, but it was actually higher. There was like a higher cap. Or no, maybe theirs was lower and they had like less to reach. I don't remember. It's weird, but I did notice that their number was different from everyone else's. I don't know why, so if any of you guys do, it'd be helpful to explain that. Alright, let's get... Uh... Wait, I don't, again, I don't need a neighborhood right now here. So in the absence of that, I kind of want to get a seaport because the city needs to grow. Yeah, let's go ahead and snag that seaport real quick. I'll build the industrial zone right afterwards. Wait, you know what? I'm changing my mind again. The industrial zone could benefit several other cities. That's an important one to get. So, industrial zone first. Oh, I just noticed. There is oil just off the coast of this city. I'll probably get eventually. Oh wait, there's oil outside of Astrakhan too. Huh. Well, with all this oil, I might actually destroy the oil I have back here and put a neighborhood there like I initially planned, just so Novgorod can grow to obscenely huge size. We'll see. It's an option. Alright, I want to get the seaside resort up ASAP. I don't think I can do it on this turn, so I'll, I'll go ahead and chop down the forest first, and then I'll I'll put it up. All right, and then this I already know is going to be a seaside resort. I'm going to probably send them out there to do that now. And you know what? I'm kind of wanting to build even more builders, too. Now that I think of it. Huh? I got three build actions. These guys are down to one. They've got five. I think I want one more. I want one more set of builders before I start in on that industrial zone. So, only change my mind three times there. I want to send him down here to build. Yeah, because I want lumber mill there. So I'm going to want a forest on that tile. I wonder what I was planning on doing with this little hill right here. Whether I was going to put a forest and a lumber mill on that or connect more farms. What is the food surplus in this city? 28.6. I could make it a lot higher than that. Um, I'll stick a lumber mill here first, because it's got a forest and ready to go. Okay, awesome. Seaside resort is completed. My first one.
France has just announced Japan, so I may not want to make friendship with Japan. France is now also majority Eastern Orthodoxy. Um, I think I just saw one that said China is just now building the Great Library. That's funny. That gives like a bonus to all classical era technologies. It's useless now. make sure that tile is in the borders of St. Petersburg. Okay, it is. Whoops. I can actually delete that pin now. Maybe a few others I can delete too. Like that. I already know the industrial zone is going there because I've begun it. Same with that one. So I can clear up the map a little bit here. Alright guys. Remove those woods. Hopefully I did the math on all this right. Now if I could just get this farm, that spot to open up for a farm, that would be really nice. Oh, this is why I needed builders so bad. Just so many improvements that I needed everywhere. <laughs> the destruction of our Earth is not just affecting you, but your neighbors as well. Um, I'm actually planting more forests than I'm cutting down. Oh, wait, no, he's... Yeah, I'm... Okay, yeah, I am cutting down a lot of jungle. All right, I'll admit to that. Well, you know what? It's all for a good cause. woods there. Want the resort here. All right, Kazan got the neighborhood that it needed for so long. It kind of needs another one, to be honest. Wait, Kazan still hasn't built an industrial zone. Amenities are okay, so I'm going to get that going, I think. I'm, I'm looking around to see if there's anywhere I could put another... Another, um, uh, neighborhood. There's no real great spots that stand out to me. I almost might just pass up the commercial hub and build a neighborhood there, but it would be kind of a lousy neighborhood. Well, I'm not going to worry about that now. I'll, I'll think about that later. For the time being, I really want that industrial zone. Right now, I pretty much need all the production that my cities can get. Alright, last trade route was with Hong Kong, and that was primarily for production. There's other places I could get a lot more gold out of. Could continue trading with France, get some extra food, and it would also be good for our relationship, I suppose. I think I'll send one over to Leon. Oh, why not? And your last route was that city, whatever the name is. Handon would be a better one. China's a good trading option. London would get quite a bit of gold. 
pretty much everybody I would trade with, though, are kind of enemies. Or at least not good relationships with me. I guess I'll probably just stick with China. Those seems to be some of the better trade routes. Wait a second. No, France's are just as good. And they're closer. And friendlier. I'll trade more with France. See, Roosevelt, I'm planting forests. That's cool, isn't it? No, not remove woods. I do that almost all the time. I do that a lot. I almost click remove improvement instead of... Or I almost click tear down woods instead of build lumber mill. Alright, so... How about these guys? The lumber mill there with them. Build the lumber... Uh, another one there. That'll use them up up the rest of the way. I guess I'll send these guys over here, build a forest on this tile, and follow up with another builder later. Not sure what I'm going to do with these two tiles right here. These might be good candidates for an airport. Oh, cool. That was the sabotage production. It worked, and I get promoted. Oh, I like that one. Takes no time to establish presence in an enemy city. I like Ace Driver too, though. Ace Driver is definitely the safer choice. I'll usually opt for the safer choices with spies. Okay, a much needed neighborhood in St. Petersburg. I'll take it. I think what's going on, what I'm going to do down here is, uh, that's got a charming appeal. I need a forest on this tile, or a wonder. I'll probably put an airport here. It's a lousy tile anyway. Yeah, and it would cover a nice central area between all these cities on the southern edge of my empire. Right, well, back to the industrial zone, because this builder is done. And actually, I think I'll send him down to go deal with this. these guys should go, but I'm kind of thinking I want to tear down those mines. Actually, I actually want to compare them. For production, two food. For production, two food. So a lumber mill and a mine are basically the same at this point. But what I'm thinking here is that I might be able to squeeze one more neighborhood in. Eh, maybe not. And this actually needs to be a mine, because there's going to be an industrial zone there eventually. Alright, well, I'll go do that. And probably build the quarry there. Honestly, I don't think it matters what these are, really. Well, it might. No, I'm going to stick with my original plan on those. Okay, you guys need to build lumber mill. They need to build woods. Getting close to 400 tourism, and when it doubles, when I get computers, I'll be close to 800. And then I'll really start cruising towards a culture victory. Ah! 
I like getting disguised because I like to move my spies around a lot. It makes it difficult for them to counter spy. It seems to me like when you do a mission in a city that's successful, the odds of getting caught afterwards seem to jump quite a bit. Oh, I made a mistake. Well, not made a mistake, but forgot to do something. I was planning on building this archaeologist a while ago, buying it. Oops, I should have gotten him a long time ago. I had plenty of money for that. Well, hopefully that didn't waste too much time. Okay, what to do with these guys? Since I already know what those are going to be. This city is just not going to be able to build every type of district. But it'll get the important ones. There's another ancient ruin out on that island out there. Awesome. Well, pretty much all the upgrade stuff that I need to do... I guess they could go up to Manchester and help out up there. There's probably places that could benefit from... from some upgrades. Yeah, I can spot... I, I see a few places up there that they might be useful in, so that's where they'll go. Let's see, I guess those guys could build a mine and then move on to build the quarry real quick. I still don't know what I'm going to do with these two spots. Wait, no, no, wait. That's, I already decided. That's the airport. That's a forest. So I'll go with, get the forest with these guys. Well, I don't need anything else here. Let's see, who else has industrial zones that I could go sabotage? I'm not going to sabotage the Congo stuff. There really isn't anyone. Um, could probably go try to steal money from somewhere. Check the cities to find out what the most valuable one would be. I think... Maybe the Congo's got something good. Nope. Hey, wait. Sydney's Australia City. Congo took that, apparently. Uh, Kyoto would be good, but that's also Japan's capital. Higher chance of there being an enemy spy in that city, a counter spy. Especially if... If they're generating a lot of gold. Probably would be defending against that. I'll just go over to... No, x is the Chinese capital. I like to avoid capital cities if I can. That city will work. Wait, no, this one was slightly more. Okay, this one will work. I'll try to steal some money from there. Plus, if I get caught, I have a higher chance of escaping, so... I can afford to try different types of missions with this spy. I think he's just going to stay counter spying in that city for probably the remainder of the game. All right, let's get a mine here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's what I was thinking about doing. Removing the quarry and putting another neighborhood there. Maybe later in the game. Right now St. Petersburg is going to have enough housing for for a little while at least. When that neighborhood's done. If I run low on housing later, maybe I'll clear that and change one of those to a... Change this one to a forest or something like that. Actually, if I changed both of these to forest tiles, that's a total of like plus four. Yeah, I could I could do a neighborhood there. And I wouldn't sacrifice any production for it. I would just have to redo those tiles. I would do that. I think I would rather have the mine over the... Rather have another neighborhood over the quarry. We'll leave it for now because, like I said, I don't need it at the moment, but later in the game I'll rem try to remember to keep that as an option. Uh, I don't want to mine, want woods. Okay, so I can run out and grab these real quick. And this should give me the Eureka for oil, or combustion. What did I get? Okay, that's an artifact for me, ancient. Might be able to get a themed museum here pretty soon. Wonder if that's charming. I could actually build a seaside resort here, too. Yeah, I think that's what these guys will do. They got four builds. One, two... Clear that. Yeah, I don't know if I'll have enough for all that, but... This has got an appeal of two. And I could boost it up even more. It's not a hill. And it's on the ocean, on the coast. There's no cliff there. Yeah, that's a valid seaside resort spot. I should definitely do that instead. So close to getting computers. Alright, I'm not going to get that one anytime soon, so I'll just, I'll get mobilization because I'm not going to get the three core in my military anytime soon. Um, I have a much better, I have market economy now, which is good for me. I'm going to keep that builder production. Um, I could change the wonder one, though. I don't need that anymore. I probably should have taken that off a while ago. I might just throw on even more gold. None of these really speak out to me as much as that gold one. Yep. It's a wild card slot, though. I might want great person points. So I'm going to close this menu and look at the great people real quick. See if there's anybody I should be gearing towards. Oh, I get that great engineer soon. And a great admiral. What else? Oh, I need this guy. I will do anything to get that. Okay, I'm going to put a great scientist in there. I need I need great scientist points. That's huge for me. Great Gain 350 science for every artifact in the city. Artifacts in your cities all generate 300% of their normal tourism. That's crazy. So yes, I absolutely, definitely want that. Um, yeah, easy choice. Easy, easy choice. So let's go back in here. Change policies from market economy back. Change skyscrapers to bonus production of scientists. I 
I think I need the card that gives you plus four science points instead of just plus two, because it's not very much. And then I need to switch this back to cheaper unit maintenance. Mm, yeah, this looks good. All right, well, I guess for now, since I'm not doing building a neighborhood here yet, um, I probably should go ahead and and clear and build a quarry on that. I don't know, let's see where my people are working right now. Somebody is working on that tile, so a quarry would be helpful. The city's pretty much filled up on tiles that people are working on. Yeah, for now we'll go ahead and, and get the quarry. The little extra production will be nice. And gold, for that matter. But there's a good chance that'll get torn down later. Oh man, this is looking so much better than it did just a couple episodes ago. Ancient Hong Kong, and I got an ancient one from me. So, one more artifact, and then I can trade it if I need something different. Alright, computers on the next turn. Here we go. 373 tourism now. went to the next turn kind of quietly. Uh, yeah, I'm going to do this. Okay, wait, it didn't go to the next turn. Apparently a unit still had movement. I'm confused. Oh well. Alright, we're going to remove that mine. And good, that didn't use a build action. England. I don't need your niter. I need a tremendous amount of gold per turn. 19, huh? You're willing to part with that. Do I have a spot for this? That's another relic. Hang on. I don't think I have a spot for that. I should get one, though. I have to remember that England has that. Maybe it'd be worth building another holy site somewhere. Hey, the Atomic Era. If I'll go to supporting the plan, I'll hopefully be able to win the game before... Knowledge of Advanced Ballistics, okay. If I'll go to supporting the plan, I'm hoping I can win the game before atom bombs become an issue. Um, also, 762 tourism now that I got computers. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and grab... Let's see, advanced flight is build three biplanes. I don't need to get advanced flight yet. I want to go ahead and build some cheaper planes and then probably upgrade them. Um, so I'll get combustion. And I want to get an archaeological museum in St. Petersburg soon. How much production is that getting? 68? Neighborhood's finished now. So it's got room to grow.
We're going straight for it. Amphitheater, archaeological museum. It's too valuable not to. Also, I will buy this great person as soon as he becomes available. So I need to keep an eye on that. I don't want to let that one pass me by. Zoo Research Lab. Well, I kind of, uh, I don't exactly know what I want to do with this city here. There's a few different wonders I could build, and I think all of them would be useful. I probably should get a wonder. I mean, if I can, it looks like there's several options that I have. I just don't know which one to get. I like the music ones. Because there's a card that triples music, musician tourism. This one needs flat land adjacent to a theater square district, so I could put that one there. And put a different one. That was, that's adjacent to a city center. I could build the Eiffel Tower. I think I would go for Broadway first. That one has to be built next to a river, so I can't do that one. That one needs to be built next to a theater square, so I could get Bolshoi Theater. Alright, let's build a builder so I can clear land. I'll probably get Broadway and then the Bolshoi Theater. Put them both in that city, because I don't really have plans for those tiles other than that. Um, except building an industrial zone would be useful. Alright, let's start boosting production for surrounding cities so get the workshop get the power plant up in there as soon as I can all right power plant completed down here and I think I want probably another builder let's do it Jerusalem's a crazy good trade route I want to keep that one going Let's see here. You got one build left. What can this guy do with one build? I might be able to get another breathtaking neighborhood there. Could build a forest on that tile. Because then if I can get one more here, I'd be good once those borders ever expand. Wait, you know what? I've still got some builders over here. Maybe I don't need... Maybe I don't need a builder in this city right now. Maybe what I need in here is a broadcast center. Yeah. I need somewhere to put that musician that I've had sitting around for forever. Oh, crap. Uh, go back up. Nope, I wasted a turn. Dang it. Alright, I need to... Uh, I need to build the lumber mill on that spot. Okay, next closest ruin was here, I think. Yeah, and there's one over there, too. I got so many in my land. This is awesome. Do you have enough movement to actually dig it up? Nope. Alright, need more housing. Where? Where do I need? Oh, these cities. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. I need builders out there, too. Matter of fact, why don't I just buy one? I need to start cleaning that land up. Builder. Alright. Well, I think it's time to wrap this one up here. Um, so, I don't know whether I'll go into the next one now or not. I'm sorry the, seri the episodes may be coming out kind of sporadically. It's hard to tell when I will or when I can record this. But I'll get them out as quickly as I can. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you in the next episode.